live from Melbourne, Australia. For a brand new episode of Kill Tony, get up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Melbourne, Kill Tony's here. I told everybody you're one of the best comedy audiences in the world. How loud can this place get right now? Look, everybody, first time in Melbourne, Brian Redman's hey, here. Hey, guys! Ooh-wee-wee. How exciting be back at the great comics lounge where I've been many a times. You wouldn't know by the pictures that they have all over the walls of people that have been here maybe once in their fucking yeah. lives. Yeah, I'm sure you guys come and see Seinfeld here all the fucking time, right? Bunch of bullshit. I come here once a year. We always have fun. How many of you have seen me do stand-up comedy in this venue before? All right, like 20 of you. Very good. Real, r- real good return audience I get at this hellhole. It's good to be here. It's good to be back in Melbourne. Stop number two on our crazy Australian first ever Kill Tony Australian tour. We are the number one live podcast in the world, and we appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you very much. We travel all the time. It never ends, really. It just goes on and on. Uh, we are going more places real, real soon. Like uh, like you wouldn't believe it, but I uh, switched the wrong papers We're going to be in oh, uh, yeah, Washington, oh, D.C. There it is. There yeah. it is. Another sold-out show tomorrow night in Sydney. Then we go to D.C. November 7th and uh, New York November 10th. Columbus, Ohio the 12th of December. Pittsburgh the 14th and Cleveland the 15th of December. Ticket to DeathSquad.tv, TonyHinchcliffe.com. You can just Google it, too. Well, uh, well don't Google it. You might get those ticket scalpers. And yeah. They, yeah, don't go through that way. Don't do that. Uh, Ryan J. E. Belt made special Australian posters that we're going to be slinging and signing for you and taking pictures with you after the show if you're patient enough to wait around for it. There's also uh, Kill Tony pins that glow in the dark and a couple Tony Hinchcliffe pins, uh, uh, optional facial hair with a Sharpie marker. I'll put it on if you want it. That's all available after the show. Blah, blah, blah. Fucking blah, blah, blibbity, blah. Right? You know all this. You yes. listen to the show. How many of you are fans of Kill Tony? <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Normally, I don't share a lot of inside information like this, but uh, I had a thick beef penne pasta earlier, and it is not completely settled 100%. <laughs> yeah. What I would give to have some amazing infinite CBD right now <laughs> oh. for this upset stomach because I am suffering from both anxiety and depression right now in this very moment. I love working with Infinite CBD. They offer the cleanest, healthiest, and purest forms of CBD available. It's organically grown in Colorado. That's in the United States of America, the greatest country on the planet. Yeah. It's pure CBD isolate testing over 99% CBD. If you still haven't tried it, research has shown to help with the variety of different ailments, including anxiety, depression, insomnia, and much more. This uh, month, we're going to highlight the gummy bears. You know they have CBD gummy bears? they got some new flavors of these gummies, too, and they're great for calming down when things get stressful or before bed to help insomnia. They have flavors like sour grape, sour peach, sour watermelon, sour blue raspberry, sour strawberry, and the seasonal favorite, apple pie, which is made with real apple cider. Go to InfiniteCBD.com, and if you use promo code TONY15, you get 15 15% off. That's infinitecbd.com. Use the code Tony15. Get 15% off. You guys ready to start this show or what? We're live. Melbourne. Let's fucking go. Believe it or not, as with all road shows, we're not going to have a guest tonight. However, we do have a band on this show. They've never, uh, they've never been to Melbourne before, so this is very exciting for them. Uh, they always do different characters every episode of the show. We never know what they're going to be. They had a separate dressing room to get ready in here tonight, uh, and uh, sometimes it's the return of a famous character that they've done before. Like last night, they were the outback uh, uh, yeah. um, nature yeah, people. The Steve fucking, Irwin kind of Yeah, the animal, uh, uh, <laughs> Australian animal people, whatever the fuck you guys call those. The stingray uh, guy. Yeah, exactly. Your fucking old, your old emperor, or whatever the fuck he was here. Uh, anyway, uh, sometimes it's a brand new character. Let's see what they are together. Give them a big Melbourne welcome. It's their first time performing in this city. Make some noise for the best damn band in the land, the Kill Tony Band, Jeremiah Watkins and Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> 
Here they are. Uh, we know these guys. Now, I do believe these guys are all white trash. Am I correct? What's up, y'all? We've been hanging out in Frankston lately. What's up? <laughs> hey, look at that. Absolutely. There you go. It's stealing my references. Very good. Right from the get. That's a smooth move. How's it feel, Tony? I see, I see what you did there. Wait, what, is, wait, what does that mean? Oh, so, not, nothing. Right. Yeah, exactly, because that wouldn't make any sense at all. So uh, remind me of uh, remind me of your name there, uh, Captain. Yeah, what's up? My name's Dave Gunther. How the hell are y'all doing, Melvin? Dan Gunther. Gunther. Very good. Dan Gunther? Dave Gunther. Dave. Okay, Dave Gunther. Very good. And uh, clearly back here we have what appears to be a, uh, a uh, Mexican boy with an Australian haircut for some reason. Man, I didn't even know that's where I was, man. <laughs> I just get on the plane, man. My name's Travis Plow. Travis Platt? Plow! Travis Plow. Very fucking good. All right, well, welcome, white trash guys. You guys are Americans. How did you get here? Oh, man, we swam, man. Wow. <laughs> Heck, yeah, this one still has a wet back. He did, he did swim. You could tell. You could tell he did. Absolutely. fucking lutely well, I'm excited you guys made it here for your first time in Australia. So we have the band, we have Brian Soundboard, which brings me to this, the good old Melbourne Cup, everyone. Here we are. Bunch of people signed up before the show. I think you guys know how it works. I pull a name out of the bucket, we get to meet them all together. Sometimes it's somebody's first time trying stand-up comedy. Sometimes they're a local comedy hero trying to make a big break on the number one live podcast in the world. I pull your name out, you get 60 seconds uninterrupted. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry fucking shit. <laughs> the angry motherfucking, what is it? Heel Street Bear. Who gives a fuck? Sure. Some, <laughs> some gay street. Uh, there it is. Oh, it's a kangaroo. That's right. It's a very, very exhausted kangaroo. You guys ready to start this show or what? Stairways right here during the middle. Very easy. I guess you could also sort of come up this way if you try. Don't really go up that way. If you go that way, try to make it to the middle. Just weasel your way in. Maybe this nice guy, maybe this Australian Justin Bieber will push his seat in a little bit so you guys can get in here. Maybe not, obviously. What an asshole. Incredible. Not surprised. Uh, You guys ready to start this thing or what? Come on, Melbourne, I think you could do a little bit better than that. You guys ready to go? Jesus. Put your hands together for your first comedian. One word name. His name is Raul. Raul is starting the show. Here we go. E-N-T. I'm dynamite here. Oh, that's not Raul at all. It was a little decoy. What's going on here, Raul? Is he coming? Come on, buddy. Come on, pal. Raul. TNT. He's dynamite. Fuck yeah, Raul. Here he is. One more time for Raul, everybody. Fuck. Okay. (laughs) Just in case you were wondering, uh, the answer is no, my... Carpet does not match my drapes. Um, <laughs> I've been single now for about four years since my divorce. You cannot believe how many women brag about being squirters, Red Man. <laughs> Have you ever seen the hippo taking a shit? If you haven't, their little tail wags in front of their asshole and shit flies everywhere. Now you move that little tail to the front and she's a fucking squirter. Especially if it was like fucking Aphrodite. Hey, white people. I don't know if that's racist or not. We don't have any black people around here. Our government's killed them all. <laughs> I had a girl one time squirt accidentally in my mouth. Uh, in my mind, I said, don't be a dickhead about it. You know, it was probably an accident. Don't be, I've got to be nice. But, he, but my body reacted like this. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> That's it. Wow. 
Fuck yeah, Raul. You fucking did it. You really did it. You really came out and executed. I mean, that is just stand-up comedy at its finest. <laughs> By the looks of things, you're going to have your face on one of these walls any day now here at the Comics <laughs> Lounge, if anything, uh, if we've learned anything. Plan. Heck yeah. Look at you, you fucking Bond villain. What, I- what are you? I'm not sure exactly what you are. It just sounded like you said a bunch of keywords that you thought would work. Squirt, squirt, Aphrodite, yeah, uh, red oh. band. This is like a Killzone bingo card. Yeah, you read my book, right? Yeah. I wanted to make red band chuckle, but it didn't work. Heck yeah. Is it a coloring <laughs> book? The fuck it's, are you guys uh, talking about? It is, yeah. So, Raul, uh, wow, first time doing stand up, obviously. Seven years, man. What? No, I'm pissing up. First time, first very time. Very good. Very good, Raul. Very good. There's the goat of your first time. That's what that sound means. So, uh, Raul, uh, what are we talking about here? How old are you? 47. 47. Heck yeah. What do you do for work? Uh, weld, uh, build, build shit out of steel. You build shit out of steel. Absolutely. That's as goddamn Australian as it gets right there. Just build shit out of steel. You got divorced four years ago? Sorry? You got divorced four years ago, you yes, said? Yes. How's that going for you? It's great. I love being single. You love being single? Yes. Yeah? What do you love about it? <laughs> My ex never squirted. I fucking know we wouldn't have been married. I was married 14 years, and that's what broke us up. I like to be alone. That, that's what it is. <laughs> you were married for 14 years. Do you have any kids? Yeah, two, two kids. Uh, two kids. How old are they now? Uh, nine and eight. They're nine and eight now? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Perfect. That's Tony's favorite age. Yeah. Nine and eight, because I'm a pedophile, clearly. That's a brand new running joke starting right here in Melbourne. Tony is a pedophile out of fucking nowhere. Very good. That makes a lot of goddamn sense. Look at, look at what you did. You said squirt four times. You got them all excited. <laughs> Jesus and, and fucking got, and Christ. And I've got his session on. Yeah, very good. Yes, he's wearing a Death Squad shirt. Unbelievable. You can, I didn't, uh, you you can to be say small... anything you want when you wear that. You could be a big old dumbass if you yeah, want to. Uh, just <laughs> That shirt, you could just fucking spit and say squirt a bunch of times and start with the word fuck. It's perfect. Yeah, absolutely. That's, I love that opening line. Fucking destroyed. Brought the house down. <laughs> so, Raul, uh, nine and eight, you get to see your kids often? Yeah, every week. Oh, I don't go out. This is a very rare Saturday night out. I love it. Out because I, I usually hang out with my kids. I love it. That's good. That's good that you're a good dad. What else, What do you do for fun when you're not around the kids? I like to hang out by myself, as I said. Yeah. I like psychedelics. Psychedelics. Whatever, whatever. I like fishing. All lonely pursuits. I love that. Okay. Now, let's be honest here. I don't know what you said about squirting. What, did, what was the point of what you were saying? Oh, well, when a girl says, oh, guess what? I'm a fucking squirter. Do well, girls I, tell you that a lot? Yeah. yeah in well, real life. Like, how many girls have told you that? I, I, yeah. I do, do you have sex with a lot of puppets? Like, what was that voice you were yeah. doing? Oh, I'm a for the winner, oh, 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 I'm a squirter. Oh, oh no. Oh, look at me. I'm a squirter. Oh. I want you to think really hard. Like, how many girls in real life have told you that they're a squirter? About Ten, ten girls. Ten, yeah. ten girls. Yep, yep, yep. And this is all in the past four years. Yeah. So you got divorced. Was your wife a squirter? Nice. No, the only thing squirting out of her were fucking babies, yeah. right? <laughs> and then here you are, four years single. That means you're basically averaging, what, 2.2 uh, squirters per year, right? That, Something like that, yeah, right? Around between 2.2, 2. 2. 2. 2.4 2. squirters yep. per year. So yep. once every six fucking, four to six months, there's just another... Ah, it's out of nowhere. Just and knocking on your door. Yes, yes. And all I say is I don't want to be pissed on. You what? I don't want to be pissed on. And uh-huh. if you tell me you're a squirt, I'm not going to fucking try. Uh-huh. By the looks of your shoes, you look like you've had way more men tell you that they're squirters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tony, this guy looks like my future. Yeah. <laughs> this guy looks like Oldberg. <laughs> he does. He does. So you've ne- you, have you ever made a girl squirt? Oh, fuck no. no. Fuck no. Yeah, they tell you they're a squirt. Oh, I'm a squirter. And you're like, yeah, hey, stay away from me, yeah. mate. Oh. Yeah, so I'll make you a little steel dildo, but I'm out of here. <laughs> Something like that. Small dick. You have a small dick? Good question. Oh, it's pretty big. It's good, it's good size. It's, yeah, it's yeah. not curved at all, is it? Yeah, it's, it's curved to the side. It goes to the side. It does. He's That's got one it's... of those fucking little Australian boomerang dicks. Yeah, just yeah. fucking... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking throw it at him. Whoa. 
comes right back. <laughs> I love it, Raul. Well, man, it was a lot of fun. You fucking take the jokes like a champion. You have a great sense of humor, and it's not easy getting this show started very clearly by your performance, as we could tell. But, uh, but you did it here tonight. That takes a lot of balls. Congratulations, Raul, everybody. Let's get it going. TNT, and he'll win the fight. Okay, this should be interesting. Make some noise for your next comedian, Kanye East. Kanye East. Heck yeah. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. Here comes Kanye. Hell yeah. One more time for Kanye East, everybody. What's going on, Melbourne? I'm happy to be at the Death to Tony show. And I want to ask you a question. Have you ever walked in a 7-Eleven? You don't walk in a 7-Eleven, but if you did and I came in and you had a candy bar selection, I don't have enough for the Snickers bar. I don't have the last 80 cents. Can I have it? <laughs> you know, no one says no to Kanye. <laughs> I don't... What is... What are, why do you look at me like I'm a guy who's not cool? I know how to be cool. I'm one of the biggest rappers this side of the equator. What are you talking about? Do you have any sense so I can buy a Snickers bar? Kanye East, everybody. Wow. Jesus walks, but clearly you do not. Uh, Wow. This is great. There you go. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Kanye is not my real name. Uh huh. I know. Oh, I Amy hate Schumer it. is your real name. Right? Yeah. I got. I got a penis. You got a penis. Amy Schumer doesn't have a penis like me. Uh huh. It's like a tiny elephant trunk, and when I shave it. It looks like a sad old man with no eyes sitting in a wheelchair made out of flesh. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any sense for my candy bar? Wow, okay. You're committed. I like that. I'm I'm not... I can't back down from this. I go to... I get in character in the morning Uh and I go to the business district and beg for coins. And you. then I get a candy bar and I come to the Death to Tony show. Okay, just take a breath for a second here, just for one second here, while the funny <laughs> people do things. Uh, Sorry. Go ahead, Joel. This guy's like William Cuntgummery. Oh, wow. <laughs> hold on, hold on. It's... Go ahead, say some bullshit that makes no sense to my face. Uh, no, I'll tell you that I used to play in the chess. All right, he did it. I used to play in the Chesky Krumlov marching band. Okay, hold on. Just relax. Relax, Kanye. So uh, this is a character that you do. Let's talk to the real guy. Cause All right, okay, sure. <laughs> there you go. How are you, buddy? Very good. Hi. Very good. How are you? Uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? <laughs> Ten years. Ten days. Ten, no, ten years. Ten, ten years. Really? Yeah, and I and just you, and you do different characters. No, that's the new guy. How long have you been working on Kanye? <laughs> like, like two months or something. Wow. Yeah. And uh, that's your main thing is like uh, the candy bar, like getting money. <laughs> that's for that? that's the only thing I've done more than once. Otherwise, that guy's talking about. Do you want to talk to JFK on my magic telephone? Like, <laughs> by the way, I li- I liked it, man. You looked back at me, and you had written. You were prepared for me to not be smiling, but compared to the first guy, you're fucking you're goddamn Dave Chappelle. So, oh. I mean, like, thank you. You you he literally. For those of you just listening to the podcast, I was smiling when he looked back and said, "Oh, Tony, you're looking at me all angry, like whatever you said." But I was smiling. You weren't prepared for that, were you? No, not really. You thought I was gonna fucking hate you, didn't you? You kind of do. You're sort of right. Yeah, absolutely. 
I don't really like characters that much, but I do love the fact that you broke out and started talking to me. So yeah, now, yeah. Now, now I'm on your good side. Had you fucking committed to it, you'd already be back in fucking back to obscurity back there. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. But here you are. You've really been doing it ten years? Yeah. Oh, I I did it for seven, then I took and then I stopped for a few years. And Let's I just check started. in with Dave Gunther real quick. Yeah, I didn't believe it before, but I guess black is pretty slimming. <laughs> I got trapped in a bakery. <laughs> Why? Let me ask you this. Why that voice and I, what? <laughs> man, I, I love I love that voice, man. Yeah. It's so like I actually I was just bored. Hey, that I'm, guy! Turn and turn on the other guy. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm squatting in a house. You're squatting in a house. Yeah, which means that I'm not paying rent and I don't own it. And some. I lady. think he said under a bridge. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> a, la- a lady passed away and I just moved in and started paying the bills. Is uh, her body still in the house? No, 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 no. Did you started paying the bills? Yeah, I paid the council. I took out a loan and I, called, I told the bank it was for an art project. And then I paid $16,000 of council rates in arrears. And now I'm doing renovations on the place. Wow. Is all of her stuff still there? Uh, no, no. I cleared all that out. You all cleared the, it out? Yeah. How long ago did this lady die? Uh, 2011? 2011. Does the family know? or does? Uh, there's no family. That's yeah. why. How do you know there's no family? Because I was her neighbor previously. Oh. And, you, and she told you she had no family. Oh, she don't. No, no. I just, you know. You, you figure that out when you, when you go into someone's home. And I'm starting see. to think this isn't a character, but that you're haunted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm starting to feel like Kanye East is this lady's ghost that yeah, just yeah. crawled into your fucking system one day. How did she die? You're like, pillow or? Yeah. <laughs> she lived to be 100. She was 100 years old when she yeah, passed away. I'm just exactly. like, good. No good better innings. time to murder someone after they hit triple digits. <laughs> Wow, that's incredible. So how soon after she died did you move in? Uh, eight years or seven years. So it just sat there empty for years. People don't at the council, they don't do their job. They just get the money and ignore all the old dead people. Wow. And okay. then I have a chance to make it. H- have you ever thought about just talking in your normal voice all the time? Never. Why? <laughs> because it's fucking horrible. I don't know how to write jokes. It's better if, I, if I'm just this guy and people think that I am some deranged fuck who wandered in from the street. I don't think it's anyone better, believes better that. that way. It's better that way. I don't, I don't think that people way. believe that, though. I think everybody yeah, pro- knew you were like not doing your real voice. Yeah, Dude, I, I yeah th- but they were into it. I thought that he was a Cajun vampire or something like that. <laughs> and I'll tell you, well, we got alligators, and I will bite you in the neck and drain all your blood at the end of the month. All right. You sound like that dude from South Park with the voice thing in his throat. Yeah, tra- yeah tracheomany, yeah, kind of, whatever it is. All right. Anything else interesting about you? I mean, that is crazy. You just moved into an old lady, dead lady's house. That's uh, a first on Kill Tony's history. I'll tell I, you that. Like I said, I oh. used to play a snare drum in the Jessica Crumb Love marching band. Uh huh. Yeah, just a snare drum, though, right? Mm, nah. The rest of it, too. Really? Yeah. yeah. Is that true, or are you just saying that? No. How long did you play drums for? I've been playing for 20 years. Really? Are you lying to me? I feel like he's lying. If you're lying, tell me now, because I will seriously be Why would I lie to you, Tony? I'm I'm a nice guy. I'm cool. I'm going to tell you something right now. Kanye, Kanye, relax. Just breathe a little bit, okay? I'm going to tell you something right now. If you're lying to me, tell me now, and everything will be fine. That's fine. I, I won't be mad at you. But if I call for a Mexican drum off and you go over there and you just barely hit shit and ta- tippity tap around like other people have done before that infuriates me, I swear to God, I know people and I will make sure that the council finds you at the house that you're at. So tell me now, do you, have you really played drums for 20 years? I promise you that I've years? been playing drums since I was 13. In that case, go grab a seat over there. Let's have a Mexican drum off. Now, before you play, Kanye East, before you play, let me just remind everybody, because there might be some people out there who it's their first time. And I can tell this is the type of audience that wants to see blood here tonight. I, I could tell this is the type of crowd that wants to see history get made. Now, if you don't know, it's a drum solo competition. 
if Kanye East wins, and let's really fucking hope he doesn't. <laughs> but if he does, he's traveling all around the world with us from now on. And that's including living in Los Angeles, probably in some other dead lady's house. Uh, <laughs> It's a competition that's based off of a drum solo. He gets to pick how he does it. It's about performance. It's about the actual percussions. It's about comedy overall. It's about connecting with the audience and showing them love and a good time. I will warn you, Kanye, that Joelberg Joel Jimenez is undefeated all time in Mexican drum offs. And I will also warn you that he takes this very seriously because you could possibly take his job here today. Does this all make sense to you? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, going first, the one and only, Kanye East. This is very concerning. Wow. 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 That might have been the best one. (laughs) That very... This is very interesting. This is very, very fucking interesting. Joel Berg is in the back clearly praying to the devil himself right now. In an unexpected turn of events, we found something that Kanye East is good at. I, I, I am absolutely shocked at what just happened here. For those of you just listening, he played drums very well, kept his shirt on, didn't really throw out anything comedically, really impressed us just by playing the drums. But this is a multifaceted competition. And now I present to you, undefeated all time, defending his throne for the fir- his first time ever here in Melbourne, Australia, the one and only Joelberg Joel Jimenez. <laughs> Here we go! (laughs) He's wrapped himself in... He's wrapped in toilet paper. He's got ski cockles on. He's got the purple dildo. It's in his mouth. He has a bottle of beer. And he has the white dildo that first made an appearance in Sacramento. Joel, did you hear this guy's drum performance? I This guy doesn't exist to me, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is your guy's first I've never time. battled a fucking character before. <laughs> I know this is your guy's first time seeing it live. Uh, he's got two dildos in his hand. He's here for business. I'm not even going to use the fucking stick. <laughs> he's not using... <he's> <laughs> Oh my god, he's going to use the dildos! I present to you the one and only Joelberg Joel Jimenez. <laughs> he's using the dildos! Flipping off Kanye East. He's got a dildo in his mouth. He's doing the 360. We've seen this before. He's going out into the audience with a snare drum. Hitting it with the purple dildo. Somersault. spin a Toilet paper's everywhere. I just saw his asshole for a second. Butthole was out. Oh. Drumstick. Whoa. Flipping it. That was very, very, very impressive. The stage is in shambles. A cymbal on the bass drum. Toilet paper everywhere. He's still technically in the middle of his drum off.
Wow. I mean, what, uh, what else can I say? What else can I say other than wow? Toilet paper everywhere, ski goggles, there's two dildos on the stage, he's chugging a beer. So let's see what happened here. Uh, how many of you have Kanye East winning this drum solo? Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> hey, man. How, how I, many, how I think the white one won it this uh, time, man. Wow, all right. That's, that's okay. <laughs> Very good. It's uh, it's uh, Dave, Dave Gunther. Uh, okay, so uh, how about how, okay? Let's 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 do it again. Uh, how many of you have Kanye East winning this? That's pretty good. How many of you have Joelberg Joel Jimenez winning this? Well, there you go. Wow, that was the closest one yet, man. Very close, Kanye East. Very close. Good effort. Uh, and great job. There he goes, Kanye East, ladies and gentlemen. That was a close call. Damn, we almost lost you, man. That was a close call. I was about to stab myself in the heart. I'll fucking shoot myself in the head. I'm willing to die for this shit. Wow. This <laughs> fucking bridge troll. Oh my god. I played drums for 10 years. Everybody How about you try to be your fucking self, you idiot? Wow. Very impressive. How about one more time for Joelberg, everyone? <laughs> he said it many times. He will die up here before he loses this job on this show. Pulled another name out. Make some noise for Liam O'Brien. Liam O'Brien. Here we go. Kill Tony, live from Melbourne. And three, and uh, back from that ledge, my little friend. Take a stand up next to you. One more time for Liam O'Brien, everybody. Girls, I know what it's like not knowing if someone's talking to you just because you have boobs. <laughs> I was walking past a gym and there was a sign that said, join us and work out the way you want to. So I did. Turns out free and naked wasn't an option. <laughs> if there really is a stairway to heaven or highway to hell, gonna hell because there's no way I'm walking up any stairs. <laughs> A cop was holding a sign that said, Stop police, so I hid him with my car. <laughs> Pretty sure that stopped him. I entered a fun run. They lied to me, it wasn't fun at all. <laughs> I brought an Xbox Connect. It scans you and makes a little avatar of yourself. I tried it out, a message came up saying, Please scan one person at a time. <laughs> Wow. Very, very impressive. Liam O'Brien. Hell yeah. You did it, buddy. You oh, just fucking you. killed Tony. That's the name of the show. Yeah. You fucking did it. Look at you, you fucking... Absolutely. Hell yeah. Look at you, you motherfucker. Where do I even begin with you, you big sexy beast, huh? Thank you. Look at you. You look like the man in the moon. You look like the little boy from Up. <laughs> Aww. You also look like the house from the movie Up. It's true. And you also look like the pile of too. balloons from the movie yeah. Up. It's all very <laughs> impressive. So how long has it been since you ate the Adams Family? <laughs> Are you the house that uh, Kanye East <laughs> lives in? <laughs> My goodness, you are adorable. Thank you. You just big fucking, look at you. You put the bun in Melbourne. <laughs> Let's check in with Dave Gunther over here. Yeah, man, he looks like he ate the dingo and the baby, man. <laughs> <laughs> un, 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 unbelievable performance uh, here tonight. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? First time. <laughs> I, 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 on and off, I quit for a while. So. On and off for how long? Uh, seven years. Seven years. Seven. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All here in Melbourne? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah this is where you're born and raised? Yes. Oh, shit. What's going on over here? Uh, <laughs> what, are you ready to cut this guy's diabetic foot off? Why do you have a saw? <laughs> oh, we'll be God. here all night. I love it. Uh, what was the last question I just asked you? How long I've been doing it. Yeah, seven years. Yeah. Very good. Um, and what do you do for work? I'm a carer for my uncle. Oh, you take care of your uncle. Jeez, yeah. what the fuck's wrong with him? <laughs> my God. Cancer. How, how, how morbidly obese is he to where you're taking care of him? Yeah, now he's got cancer. <laughs> oh, he's got yeah. cancer. Oh, yeah, my well, God. Well. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> your party machine. What, what, what kind of cancer? Prostate. Prostate. How, how uh, there you go. <laughs> How, how much longer do you think he has? Uh, two months. Two months. Wow. Heck yeah. So it looks like you're going to move into his house when he dies, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Very good. Is that really true? Yeah. No, that's all true. No. Wow. Okay. That's yeah. incredible. Wow. Uh, that's very nice of you, man. Did he? Uh, yeah, that's awesome. How long have you been doing that for? Ten years now. You've been taking oh. care of him for ten years? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> incredible. You're a goddamn superhero. <laughs> was it one of those things where they told him he only had a few weeks? No, it just got progressively worse. So. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> My goodness. You close with him? Is he a nice guy? He's all right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <sighs> who cares? A couple more months, you can say whatever you want about him, right? <laughs> That's fun. You close, uh, you close with all your family? Yeah, yeah. Just me, mom, and him. So. Yeah, and you're able to... How do you, like, support yourself from that? Your uncle had money or something? Government. Like Government. Government. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Very cool. It's a, obviously a... You got the... Yeah, it's a big government. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for fun, Liam, other than stand-up? Just Any, normal. Go to movies. You know. Go to movies? Yeah. What else? Conventions, Comic-Cons. Conventions, Comic-Cons. Yeah. Are you into cosplay? Do you dress up in No, nah, no. Nah. I can't find costumes that big. Right. Oh, I don't, I don't nah, buy that for a serious. second. See my <laughs> Indiana Jones? Stuff. If you could dress up as someone, if you, had the, if you could get any costume made for you, who would it be? Honestly, I haven't ever thought of it. You've never thought of no. it? No. Like, oh. I know I have the typical nerd look, but to me, that's the next level. Right. So... Right. <laughs> How about uh, love life? That, you ever go that stage three nerd? <laughs> you ever go on dates or anything like that? No. Never. No, it's too expensive. Really? I, I can barely afford it. You an ever hour. kiss a girl? Yeah, yeah. How long has it been since yeah, you kissed yeah. a girl? Kissed, hooked up, or just? Sure, like all of them. <laughs> all, all of them. All of the above. Uh, Three months ago, properly, just hooking up. So what was three? Well, who'd you hook up with three months ago? Just a random off plenty of fish. Off plenty of fish. Wow. So, like, uh, my goodness, what did she look like, huh? <laughs> just, just look like me. Her name is Mary <laughs> Mammy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Come on over to my house. Suck it. I live here all by myself. You can ask the council. <laughs> Come on over here. I got, I got some uh, drumsticks over here. <laughs> I love it, man. So uh, you had sex with that girl? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. I like your fucking style. <laughs> I would give anything to see fucking surveillance video of that performance. <laughs> I mean, I would just to pay tribute, just to show you how much I like you, I would jerk off to that. <laughs> That is incredible, Liam. You have any special moves that you do in the bedroom? I feel mm. like when you eat pussy, you actually eat it. <laughs> All right? Put a little fucking butter and Vegemite on that fucking puss puss. You go down under with a fucking little goddamn blunder. <laughs> Put a little fucking... All right. <laughs> Hell yeah. You, uh... Do you have any special moves or tricks in the bedroom? Anything that you do special? If I last longer than five minutes, it's good. Hell yeah. And that's just exercise-wise. Exercise-wise. <laughs> Heck yeah. You seem like the type of guy that would come taking off your pants. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> just from the friction. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
do you uh, do you go up every week? Uh, do you, do you no, as I took the wow. time off to look after Uncle properly, like full time. So wow. I don't get out much. So what's gonna the, what's the plan for uh, when he uh, you know when he eventually uh, probably bury him would be the biggest. Yeah, plan. absolutely. <laughs> Heck yeah, you're pretty good at that. You buried the other two comics that went up before you. <laughs> Fucking the Melbourne Undertaker over here just fucking <laughs> killing motherfuckers, man. I love your style, dude. Thank you. So you ever get to travel? You ever get to do anything crazy? You're just pretty much here. Just pretty much here. But other than burying him, any other big goals or plans? I'm sure you've thought about this. No, I haven't really. Really? No. no. Huh. No. Okay. That's interesting. 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 My goodness. What did he do when he was your age, younger, or anything like that? You know? Uh, he's a cleaner for a college. And oh, was, then he was a so manager. He was, he, was, he was around a lot of cleaning products. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say stay dirty, make it past 30. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Do they say that? <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell did you hear that from, man? Uh, just some guy. <laughs> You know what, Liam, since this is just such a fun episode and you're just such an incredible human being and you gave such a fucking unbelievable performance, I think there's only one thing to do here, and that is to award you to be the seventh ever golden ticket winner in the show's history. Well-deserved, unbelievable performance. I don't know if you know what that means, but that means that you can do a minute on any episode of Kill Tony for the show's eternity. If you ever show up in Los Angeles on a Monday, you get to perform at the Comedy Store for a minute on Kill Tony. Or if you show up at Kill Tony Mania in San Francisco, you get to do a minute there. Every time we come to Melbourne from here on out, you get to do a minute here. You're basically a regular on the show anytime you can make it there. Thank you. Thank yeah, so well deserved. Great performance. Way to take the jokes. Way to literally and metaphorically roll with everything here tonight. <laughs> literally like and metaphorically, it's the same thing. Uh, so congratulations to you. Very, Thank very you. impressive. And uh, you. there you go, Liam O'Brien, everyone. Congratulations. There you go. Not since, not since Willy wow. Wonka has a guy shaped like that won a golden ticket. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how fucking cool is that? That, a, al- that almost never happens. What a great Liam story. O'Brien, it just happened right here in Melbourne. Yeah. There you go. You I'd like to see what happens after his uncle dies. Oh, I'll tell you what happens. That fucking guy right there is going to goddamn... It's going to fucking do P90X and start fucking... I don't know what. I don't know what. <laughs> All right, you guys having fun out there? All right, pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for Bobby Sandhu. Bobby Sandhu. America, America, God shed his grace on me. What are we doing? I grew up very religious. My family and I were Buddhists. Every Sunday we'd go down to a local Buddhist temple. And I'd sit there in my long flowing robes and I'd meditate. So one day as I'm sitting there, I feel this tap on my shoulder. I open my eyes, I see this middle-aged Asian lady. Some of you non-Buddhists may even call her a MILF. <laughs> she looked at me and she said, I have a young son. My name is Anne, I have a young son. He's only a few years older than you and he's really fallen off the Buddhist path. He's parting and carrying on. Could you please pray for my son? I was very touched by this, the very heartfelt moment. I felt honored that this lady thought so highly of me and had asked me to pray for her son. Anyway, a few years later, I'm doing a few lines of cocaine at Revs. (laughs) And I'm telling my boys this story. I go, boys, you wouldn't believe it. Just a few years ago, I was killing the Buddhist game. You know, winning awards and shit. The Dalai Lama would DM me. It was out of control. (laughs) This one time, this lady, Anne, one of the boys goes, Anne, that was me mother. It was like some... What a circle of life shit. I didn't know what to do, you know? It was crazy. <laughs> Absolutely. Bobby Sand here. How long have you been doing stand-up, Bobby? Uh, about six months. Six months. Very cool. All of it here. This is where you're from, Melbourne? 
I'm from the Central Coast. I moved here about a year and a half ago. So Central Coast, where is that sort of geographically? Hour and a half north of Sydney, yeah. Uh, hour and a half north of Sydney. So that's south of here? <laughs> north of Sydney. <sighs> my geography's not, you know. You don't even know? I'm supposed to be the one that doesn't know. Sydney's south of here, right? Sydney's north. I wonder why we went Hell to no, Melbourne man. and then Sydney. We just flew over Sydney to get here today? Really? God damn it. Uh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, how, how, how old are you, Bobby? I'm 19. Uh, ni- wow, 19. There you go. I was right. You do have a very youthful, yet you also seem like you could be your own father for some reason. <laughs> Something youthful yet mature about the way you look. <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, so uh, how's it going, man? 19 years old, six months into the game. What do 19-year-olds do for fun in Australia? Um, well, the reason I moved to Melbourne when I was 15, I started doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You started doing Jiu-Jitsu? Yeah. And I Heck just yeah. I was going to say, you look like Jorge Masvidal with leukemia. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> what, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what what belt? What rank are you and what gym do you go to? Do you want to shout that out? Yeah, yeah, I'm a blue belt. I train at uh, Absolute St. Kilda, best gym in the country. I'll wait, 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 what was that again? Absolute St. Kilda. A- Absolute St. Kilda. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's, that's, uh, a, that's a training camp. That's a gym, yeah. It's a, yeah it's, that's a gym. We've got some of the best guys in the country, and I moved here to train, train there full time. What ethnicity are you? Are you fucking, what is this? What are we talking about? Is this Al-Qaeda <laughs> training? What are we doing here? This is very, dude. this is very concerning. Man, this, whatever ethnicity is, I don't trust them, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got a couple American patriots behind you, so no quick moves, all right? <laughs> I'm getting nervous. What ethnicity are you? Um, my parents are, in, I'm, I'm Indian. Yeah. You're Indian? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I was born here, though. You were born here? Really? Yeah, I'm Indian, yeah. All right. <laughs> what part of India? Northern Indian, Punjab. Is that what they told you to say? <laughs> All right, that's cool. What do your parents do for work? Teacher uh, and a doctor? They have a convenience store. <laughs> 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 wow, I thought I stereotyped them, but... Uh, uh, real Indian, yeah. You really <laughs> yeah. threw them either under the bus or on top of a train. I'm not <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> When his, pa- when his parents have sex, they don't 69, they 7-Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. And they all, sometimes they also do it slum doggy style. <laughs> Shy one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's impressive, right? You're on the number one live podcast in the world. I little can't believe I'm up here. 19-year-old little crazy. fucking young buckaroonie. <laughs> what, do you have a blue belt, you said? Yeah, yeah. Do, do you think your body has helped you in jiu-jitsu or, or uh, hindered you, like being tall and skinny? Like, there's pros and cons. Like, if you look at the world champions, they're all different sizes and shapes. Like, yeah. There's some things that I can do that, like, you know, length and reach and whatnot. But there's we'll talk about this later. We're boring them to death. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's incredible. So how long have you been training for? Uh, last four years, but, like, seriously, last two years I've started competing and, like, Making mm-hmm. that the thing I want to do, like yeah. That's awesome. And is that what you like? Is that where you put all your focus into? You have a job. I was, yeah. I work like weekend security every now and just enough to make eat to train. Right. Uh-huh. But I uh, tore my medial meniscus about uh, two months ago. Yeah. Uh-oh. So I just started doing. I was doing comedy like once a week, and then I just started doing comedy every night and trying oh. to do as much comedy as possible. So now you're doing it every night. Yeah, I'm doing it every night. Yeah. Been yeah. Lucky. No, Melbourne's. Great, you've got heaps of open mics and uh-huh. everyone's cool. How about youthful things? You do anything youthful? You ever play like Fortnite or anything like that? Uh, not, not really into. Yeah, I, I do a lot of drugs. I guess that's useful. What? <laughs> you do drugs? Uh, you do the uh, stereotypical Australian cocaine? It's 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 it's, it's tr- like I, all my acts like all drugs, but I'm almost a cop as well on the side, so it makes it a bit yeah. Hell yeah. So you do a lot of drugs. Told you, you doesn't trust him, man. My parents wouldn't. <laughs> Did you not hear him say he's a blue belt, you idiots? <laughs> My parents wouldn't let me come to Melbourne if I told them I was coming for jiu-jitsu, like Indian parents. So I told them I was coming for becoming a cop, applied, and then I just kept doing each of the tests, and now I'm like at stage nine and almost so, in. And heck now yeah. yeah. So is the last comedian's uncle. He's on <laughs> stage nine, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, 
Uh, wow. So your parents have no idea that you're secretly doing comedy and a lot it's, of drugs. It's crazy. Like my like my parents are super religious. I, I wouldn't name the religion a bit, you know. Right. I say Buddhist. It's not Buddhist, but I don't want to mess with those people. You it's know? not. Wait. You lo- you lost me there. You said that they're Buddhist. They're not Buddhist, but I'm they're not, not Buddhist. Say, I'm not going to say what they are. I oh, see. I mean, we all we all have to know. <laughs> we have to know what they are. This crowd wants to know, right? <laughs> Tell us what religion are your parents? Shit, I feel peer pressured right now. <laughs> yeah, man, this is what it feels like. Uh, they're, they're they're Sikhs. They're Sikhs. Okay, so can you explain to us sort of what that means? Uh, Sikhism, it's uh, one of the Indian religions. It's I'm feeling like a little Sikh to my stomach right now. After, uh... <laughs> Go ahead. That's a bad joke. Go ahead. Shit. It's uh, not that funny. My Go biggest ahead. fear was that someone would find out about what everything else I do from comedy. And I feel like a lot of people see this podcast and sort of gone into that direction and we can't really turn back now. Why? <laughs> Wait, you, you, you think somebody in this audience is going to find your parents and be like, your son's living a lie. <laughs> well, There's a lot of Indian taxi drivers out there listening to podcasts, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, anything it, can happen. Indians anything. never use computers. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so interesting. It's crazy. Like, I wear a turban all the time. Like, I'm, I look completely different. I you wear a turban? I run, like, kids' programs at the temple. Oh, my, my goodness. Pop is the temple president like it's crazy wow this so. guy's clapping for that hell yeah <laughs> clapping because of the kids thing or the turban <laughs> both wow are you are you you do that stuff too you wear a turban <laughs> sometimes <laughs> what the fuck then man hey, he, he just likes bra- it's brown pride dude uh, i don't know about i don't know what goes on here in australia but in america <laughs> wearing a turban does not get an applause break <laughs> all right sorry <laughs> never forget <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Bobby. <laughs> wow. Anything else fun about you, Bobby, that we should know about? Um, that's about it. My Instagram is Bobby Sandu BJJ. If you guys mm-hmm. want to follow my videos. Yeah, man, video. nobody understood <laughs> how the hell you just said that, man. We Bobby, said Bobby Sandu now, Bobby. <laughs> it's Bobby just B O W Y. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. We know. S A N D H U B J J. All one word. All one word. There you go. Bobby Sandu, everybody. On to the next one. On to the next one. America, God shed. Oh, you guys don't even know this song. (laughs) That's so funny. Sometimes I forget. We're on the other side of the world. Pulled another name out of the bucket. Paul Young. The bucket of destiny has chosen you. The old Melbourne Cup. Totally an ice bucket, but we can call it whatever we want. Let's just go right. Paul Young? Here he is. Whoa, hell yeah. Paul Young, everybody. Here we go. Every bit of a sing-along? Here we go. There she was, just a walking down the street singing. Do or do. Thank you very much. I appreciate the fucking comeback. Last time I did that, not one person, not one person gave me a do a diddy diddy back. So I said, go fuck yourselves, you fucking pricks, and stormed off the stage and vowed never again while I opened for the Wiggles. (laughs) My father in law died a few years ago. He's now uh, buried up at Marimara. I'm actually from Adelaide, and Adelaide's an eight hour trip to uh, to Marimara and. uh, I don't mind, my wife wants to go visit the fucking grave site. I don't mind the eight hour drive. Well, I'm not looking forward to the three hour dig to search for the body. I can't remember where I buried it. Uh, recently, you know, get trolled with social media. People get trolled with social media. The other day I woke up, fucking first thing I read was, You're a fucking asshole. Go kill yourself, you fucking old prick. That was a post it note on the fridge from my daughters. I don't think they loved me as much as I thought they did. And it was Father's Day. <laughs> wow. Paul Young. Killing it. Heck yeah. Thank you, Tony. Paul Young. Welcome, 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 welcome to the show. Welcome, Tony. Heck yeah. That was welcome a great Australia. performance. Thank that, you. That was very good. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy for? Off and on. I, I do it as a hobby, about three or four years. Look at you. It's just like nothing to you. I didn't really understand a single fucking word you said up there, <laughs> to be honest with you. I was trying to get all but that in a minute. <laughs> I don't know what that meant was either, but uh, 
But I'll tell you this, the crowd fucking loved you, man. I've never, I didn't realize they had uh, auctioneer comedians here. <laughs> and, uh, so are there like, subtitles that I don't know about? Yeah. I like your style. Paul Young, have you ever thought about changing your name to Paul older than you think? <laughs> No, no, no. No, I'm just kidding. I saw it in the Marion Hotel a few years ago. I thought you were very good. You, had, you, you stayed at a Marriott Hotel? Marion Hotel in Adelaide, and you picked me out and had a crack at me because I had a New York top on oh, and, I, a box, and a Boston Red Sox hat. Oh, you saw me Yeah, uh, you, you, you performed at the Marion Hotel in Adelaide gotcha. back about three years ago. Yep, I've, I've performed in Adelaide a few times, yeah. absolutely. And so you were wearing... Uh, we'll get, I was see. wearing a New York top and a Boston Red Sox hat. <laughs> that is so funny. I do sort of remember that. That's and you, incredible. And, and you had a crack at me for wearing American gear in Australia. And then I opened up my top because it was a, uh, I mean, uh, a hoodie and I had a Hawaii t-shirt on. A Hawaii t-shirt. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that is, uh, you'll never know how funny that really is because you're Australian, so you just don't know yeah. that, uh, that you were wearing <laughs> rival teams. That's, uh, yeah, that's right. It's unheard of to wear both. Like, that, that is a comedy, that would be a comedy, like, that would be a comedy character. Yeah, having a Yankees top and a Boston Red Sox hat. Yeah, but you weren't doing it on purpose to be no, funny. No, no, I just, I just wore it there. Just I'm wearing like it because you're an oblivious Australian guy. Yeah. In, in Australia, that'd be like wearing a Carlton hat and a Collingwood top. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at these people are mad at you all of a yeah. sudden now. <laughs> so, Paul, you seem like you've had a fun fucking cool life. I love that yeah. you just do this as a hobby for the last three or four years. Yeah. What, what, did, what did you do with your life before that? What do you uh, doing? I, I coach athletes in the pro running circuit, so I uh, do that. And I, I, work in, I work in the tax office in Mooney Ponds. Got the sick of it. Hated it. I know. It's a fucking shocking job. So I, so, I moved, so I chucked it all in and moved to Adelaide. He works at the tax office? I did. No, no, no. 20 years ago. I chucked it all I, in I, with I, By the way, it's easier for me to read Jeremiah's <laughs> lips from here. That's how I know. Yeah, I'm a translator, man. <laughs> <laughs> easier for me to read his lips than it is to understand the, what supposedly is English coming out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, but even all, but I talk too quick, don't I? <laughs> I used to run fast, so now I talk so fast. Do what diddy diddy dumb didgeridoo. That's what the <laughs> fuck's going on I over might here. might use that. <laughs> so you work in the tax office. No, no, 20 years ago, I chucked it in, and I moved to Adelaide. You checked in, then you moved to Adelaide. Mm. All right, and uh, then that's it. Checked in means retired? No, 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 I still work. I work in the tax, but I work for deceased estates. No, Why are you booing taxes, hey! people? You need no, to pay taxes. I work taxes on the other side. So I work for. Uh, I look after the cease the sites tax how, stuff. How stupid are you to hey! boo taxes? It's what I makes work, everything run. <laughs> I, I like this audience because they booed taxes, but they cheered for cancer. What's up? <laughs> yeah. What's up? This is my kind of audience right here, man. <laughs> Hell yeah! Don't pay those taxes, man. <laughs> I think these people think that you're the one that invented the idea of taxes, Paul. This is yeah, incredible. I know he, he looks like he could have, but... It yeah. uh, looks like he's teabagging some people. Like, look at, when people die, I look after their taxes. So I do it for deceased estates. I work oh. after their taxes. Oh, really? Have you heard about this lady that died and uh, <laughs> left her house? No, no, I don't know. But I, she might have been a client of mine. Yeah, hundred years of age. We might have to do. We had, would have, have to find her beneficiary so we could pay out the estate. Yeah, I agree. She may have been a mountain climber, and uh, she likes. And yeah, she's well, probably a magician for sure. Yeah. Uh, so you're a married guy. Yes, married. Thirty-one years. Thirty years. That's great. Thirty-one years. What does she do? She works uh, hearing life uh, in Adelaide. Looks after in, on the reception. Huh. She's got three daughters. Oh, wow. Sorry, okay. Sorry, sorry. sorry I thought right. we were just booing everything. I've got three daughters. Okay, so she works as a, a, a hearing... Hearing w- life. It's a hearing aid place. Oh, wow. Can she get me one so that I can understand what the fuck you're saying <laughs> up here? <laughs> what do you do for fun, Paul? Well, I coach an athletic squad of about a dozen runners on the pro running circuit. You have a dozen runners on the pro yeah, sprint, running circuit. Yeah, sprinting. Scratched up to about 400. Scratched up with about 400 of them. Mm. You have to repeat everything I say. I don't understand. <laughs> I, don't, I, I can't believe I'm getting any of it right. Okay. Yeah. I'm just sort of guessing. Yeah. So it's a, it's a professional running circuit where they run off uh, handicaps. They run for prize money. Ah, yes. So we had a good year last year. Had a big couple of Indeed. Years. And, uh, okay, so w- you are the host of The Price is Right, the Australian <laughs> version. 
and you're running for government of some kind yeah. in the near future. That's very exciting. So, yeah. wow. Uh, so you coach runners. Yeah. Like, uh, sprinters. Sprinters. Mm. My goodness. Are you a sprinter yourself? I used to be years ago. Years ago. Yeah, so I don't know. Fuck, I'm too old to be You don't sprint now. anymore, right? No. Can you just show us how you would take off running? <laughs> can you just run to there? I might do my hamstring. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. All right. Yeah, but there's, a, there's a race called the Stall Gift, and I ran in that for many years. Wait, wh- what did you just say there what to the make that hell happen? Is <laughs> what did you just say there? Well, the Stall Gift's the richest professional foot race of its type in the world. And I've run in that for many years. I, I actually won it in 1985, ran second in 1991. You won it, you won it when you were 95 yeah. and 91? Yeah. All right. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, you know, if, if Red Band looked it up on YouTube, the 1985 store gift, you'll see it. You're bringing Red Band into this? Wait, what'd I do? I don't, I don't know what's <laughs> no, thicker. I'm just saying, it's on I don't YouTube. know what's thicker, Red Band or your accent. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Come man. I, I feel know. like I'm having a stroke. <laughs> I know. It's really hard to understand Sorry. what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Wait, what? Sorry. Oh, that was you? Yeah, so I won a bit of money. We, and uh, You wanted to be a m- madam? <laughs> I, I, you can win on the betting as well. You can bet back yourself to win. Yeah, well, that for, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You can uh-huh. bet on yourself. You understand with, the, with the horse racing and you can bet. Uh-huh. And so I backed myself to win as well as won the prize money. You pat yourself in the winner as well with I all the prize money. I, I, I don't think he understands what backed me, does he? I, I bet on myself. You bet on yourself. Yeah, to win. To win. So uh, I won some prize money and I won some betting money. Oh, that's cool. I got a question. What's your dick like? That's a good question. <laughs> Is it still work? No comment. Is it a little fucking sprinter? <laughs> Does it, doesn't matter if it works. What's the size? <laughs> I had three daughters, so... Do, used to work. Can you do? I, did, I, I wonder. Like, you have such a thick accent. Do you think yeah. you could do like an American accent? Like, like try to sound like us? Yeah. Can you enunciate and speak in the English? <laughs> well, well, I was in America last year, and I uh, I went and watched the Yankees play, and I watched the fucking Boston Red Sox play. Did you? No, I watched the Red Sox play. I watched the, I watched the Yankees play. They played the uh, they played the Cleveland oh, Indians. Man. I understood him for like three seconds. I watched the Yankees play the Indians. <laughs> you, you look like a deleted character from Gilligan's Island. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Paul, I love your style, man. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The first Strollberg chant of the night. Paul, I love your style, man. So fucking cool. And Thank for you. just treating this like a hobby for the last few years, unbelievably great Thank performance. You. We see a lot of people on this show, and I love it when uh, oh. people of all shapes and sizes and ages come on and do things, and you're a perfect example of what a smart man can do if he applies himself in this art form. Wow. That's fucking... That's not like you. <laughs> <laughs> I, wa- I watch this show, and you fucking rarely ever give compliments. What the hell do you want me to say? Oh, I'm, pre- I'm not going to take, take it. I'm not going to take it back. <laughs> Thank abri, you very abri. much. I appreciate it, Tony. Abri, abri. Abri. I mean, you, uh, you remind me. I mean, all right. If you want me to be a little bit meaner, I can tell you, you remind me a lot of a uh, George Pell. <laughs> nah, now you're fucking ooh, stepping over the line. <laughs> fucking not George Pell. Okay. Actually, I know, I know there's a joke about George Pell. You're, I won't tell him. Now. All right. There you go. There he goes. Paul Young, everybody. There he goes. There you go. He's got to get. He's, he's got a long walk back to Torak tonight. All the way back to Torak he goes. Didn't work the second time either. I thought maybe you guys just didn't hear me, but Torak. Am I saying that right? Torak. Torak sixty four. It's the right. It's just rich bastards. Yeah, but it doesn't work for him. All right. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. Dootin dootin All right. Pull the name out of the bucket. Make some noise for your next comedian, Dan Blair, everyone. Dan Blair. Ooh, there's some rumbles in the audience for Dan Blair. Let's see what happens here. How about a hand for the band? New songs, killing it always. I love you. One more time for Dan Blair, everybody. Dan Blair. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit. Man, I've been this nervous since my son signed up to be an altar boy. Ah. Oh. You know, the, the type of nerves you get right before your son spends three hours a week 
with an unemployed 50-year-old balding man who wears black dresses and entices pensions into his house with uh, grape juice and croutons. So, uh, I'm, actually, uh, I'm actually pretty sceptical of the uh, Catholic Church's methodology in, in hiring priests, you know. <laughs> I think there should be three questions you ask a priest before they join a parish. Number one, do you drink wine from a box? Number two, do you play Fortnite? Number three, if you do play Fortnite, does your username cryptically reference your dick size? <laughs> if, you t if you tick one of those boxes, you're out. Not out, out. You just moved to a smaller country town with less elaborate questions. You know? <laughs> oh, fuck. Dan Blair, everybody. Dan, keep that mic in your hand. First time doing stand-up? Is it that obvious? Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Heck yeah. Play it three times, Red Boom. <laughs> what? Sorry. No. Talk into the microphone. All right. <laughs> I already can't understand you fucking people. At least talk into the microphone so that I can make sure that I definitely can't understand you all the way. You look, you look like a gay Henry Rollins. <laughs> He yeah, looks, that's true. He looks like a dad who's trying to bond with his son at the skate park. <laughs> <laughs> it Fuck, is I can't true. skate either. Man. It is true. We know. That's good. <laughs> it is true, Dan. You a local uh, newscaster? Yeah. Yeah, no. Is that true? Spot on no. Oh, no. What do you do for work? Not even close. Uh, I run a cleaning and gardening company up in Queensland. You clean? You're in a... I'm an import. You what? Yeah, for the weekend, yay! <laughs> hey, stick with me over sorry, here. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> what do you do for work? I uh, own a cleaning and gardening company. Cleaning and gardening? Yeah. Wow, oh, wow. Well, Back in America, that's my people's job. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Cleaning and gardening. What an interesting combination that yeah. is. That is, what both, that is what Joel Berg's parents do yeah. uh, for work. Brownberg. Yeah. Yeah. Cleaning and gardening. No so, Mexicans to hire in Australia, unfortunately. But yeah. Heck yeah. All right. Uh, so cleaning and gardening. How does that happen? How does that start? How, do, how, do, uh, how does that become the one-two punch? Uh, it's, it's really not interesting. It's not. It's, it's boring as fuck. Just, Things get dirty and plants grow. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just... It, it's not interesting, man. Honestly, like we just—it just yeah. seems like an interesting combination. I wish I could, I wish I could punch it up. But it's That's not, like it's saying, like, oh, I sell cars and also yeah. DVDs. Because it's like two that's, different fields. That's cooler. That's co way cooler. That's cool. <laughs> All right, very good. I mean, a great man once said, uh, "Keep it dirty if you want to live past 30. So, <laughs> hey, I, I don't know if your company's yeah. going to work, man. <laughs> that is true. Dan, how old are you? Uh, 36. 36 yeah. years old. Heck yeah, you don't look a day over 63. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> I'm nine years older than you. <laughs> wow. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, you're getting age shamed by Brian Redman right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you have kids? Yeah, three kids, three boys. Three kids, yeah. three boys. Yeah. How, old are, how old are they? They are 12. I've got twin boys who are nine. Oh. And they're redheads. Two, whoa, you have two red sons? My God. I know, I know. What did you do to get that kind of karma? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Red-headed it's, twins. It's still a mystery. It's a mystery. My goodness. Yeah. I think wow. your wife fucked around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going not to much of a mystery. again. That's not a mystery. <laughs> there it is. What did you say there? You hear that, wife? If you're here tonight, he's calling you a whore. <laughs> She's here. Shut up. Is she here? She is. She oh, is. my God. That's yeah. the mother of your three sons. She's lovely. I love her. I mean, really, there's just one. You can't count the two redheaded uh, twins. <laughs> uh, wow. Do you ever think you ever been suspicious of her cheating on you to make those redheads? Not for a uh, second? Come no. on. No, Tell no, the no. truth. No, it's, le it's legit. No. Really? It's all me. How do you know that? Gray up top, red down below. Oh, you have red pubes? <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> My God, for that my, is yeah. so interesting. For my comfort, yeah. The carpet yeah. doesn't match the drapes, but it makes you know, like your whole hair is like Christmas themed. You have the silver <laughs> up top and fucking red pubes. That's silver incredible. <laughs> is that true? Yeah. We don't need what? to see it. That we, this this no. part of the show. No <laughs> I one, do. No one wants to see his <laughs> red step, pubes for step, sure. Let's but let's I'm just trying off. to see if he's lying about that because that seems like such an interesting thing. <laughs> you have gray eyebrows, gray hair. <laughs> 
out. <laughs> hey, man, you got a penis? Let me see what that looks like. Yeah. Let's see that fucking cock. It's not black. <laughs> Pulls it out. It looks like one of the Weasleys from Harry Potter. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. I'll slow, I'll slow your roll real quick. <laughs> he just said that his penis between his legs is not his. What the hell does that no, mean? No, no, no. I said All it's right. not black. <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> okay. What does your wife do for work? Uh, she works in our own our company. Yeah, she at, works at the company. Oh, so yeah. Gets fucked by gingers and uh, uh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> we hire a lot of gingers, so yeah, maybe. Is, I don't understand you. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. What do you do for fun, Dan? What's a fun fact about uh, you that makes you different than all these other people in the room? You ever accomplish mm. anything or do anything crazy or? Uh, no, no, no. Like a uh, man biking. Wakeboard, what? Mountain biking. Mountain biking. Wakeboard. Do I have to hold it closer? Awesome. Wakeboarding. Uh-huh. Wakeboarding. Heaps of, wa- heaps of whiteboard shit. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, that's it. All right, Dan. <laughs> that's fun. I oh, know, it's a struggle. So you're talking about priests. Is that a thing out here? Are they finding out that a lot of priests are doing the same things? That are <coughs> yeah, you referenced place? George Pell earlier, so yeah. was, I felt it was relevant. Oh, yeah, that's very yeah, in, in the wrong. pocket. Heck yeah. yeah. And, uh,. <laughs> All right. I like it. Touchy like subject. It. All right. <laughs> Literally. What's that? I said touchy subject. <laughs> oh, man, I'm really having trouble it's a understanding. Touchy, it's a touchy subject. He said no. touchy subject touchy because subject. of the yeah. subjects. Yeah. Subjects. 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 So gotcha. Figuring them. Absolutely. Spin Dan, like I'm going to be honest with you. This is yeah. two comedians in a row that I literally can't understand what you're saying, <laughs> so it's frustrating me, so I'm going to keep Aussie, moving Aussie, along. Aussie. There he goes. Dan Blair. Heck yeah. They don't like you enough to do the oi, oi, oi part. Oh, he's tripping. We love you, Dan. Good job, pal. First time. Not easy. Tried to write actual jokes. That's not easy either. It... It really is a hard show to do when you can't understand. It any, really anyway. is. <laughs> you guys having fun out there? How many of you like it when comedians do good on this show? How many of you like it when comedians do bad? doesn't seem like that, by the way. Right. Everybody always says that, but then, then people suck up here and people are like, boo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is interesting. There's an exclamation point at the end of this one word name. Put your hands together for Dano. Dano. D-A-N-O. Might be an M. Could be an M. Damo Dano. I wanna swim right into your ocean. Is this Damo? No. Dano, Damo, Dano, Dano, right. Damo. Nope. Red Dano, Band. Damo. Oh, no Dano? Alright. Dano exclamation point. Alright, that's weird. Damo, D-A-M-O or D-A-N-O. If you have bad handwriting and you have a name that's spelled either way, then you, you got pulled. Oh, yeah. Is there a Damo? Nah, nope, okie dokie. Cool. Blacklisted, red band. Hey, very good, young lady. Okay, another uh, one word name. One word, two letters. Put your hands together for J-C. J-C. J-C, get your ass up here. No movement. Somebody yelling into that lobby? Is this JC? Looks like it. Looks like it could be. Doesn't look like a staff member to me. Here we go. Make some noise for JC, everyone. I just got to the front of the fucking bar line. And if my week wasn't hard enough, I got dumped the other day. Fuck up. I don't need it. Dating's hard, it's weird. Like the big things are never the big problems when dating. Like this last girl, she didn't care that I cheated on her. She didn't care that I didn't tell her that I cheated on her. For her, the big hang up was that I was three years older than her. 
<clears throat> yeah. But I said, like, my little sister, I don't know if you guys do this too, my little sister's five years younger than me. So I figured since we dated for like a year and a half, that should be fine, right? <laughs> relax, relax. I didn't date my sister. It was just a casual thing, but still very physical. Fuck yeah. Welcome, welcome. Hell yeah. JC, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Heck yeah. First, uh, we're going to check in with uh, the great Dave Gunther. Yeah, so he talked about dating his sister, and I found it very relatable, man. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say uh, you got broken up with recently? Yeah, I said that, but uh, I mean, come on. I was clearly joking. Take a look at this. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, the, you know Wait, the worst thing what? about breaking... I mean, I, c- I can pull my sister, so y- I'm not y- having trouble, guys. Yeah, but you know the worst thing about breaking up with your sister is you still see her at all the family reunions. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, wow, JC, you have a lot of swagger, man. Where do you, where do you, where do you get all this confidence from? Um... I've been drinking a lot tonight. Oh, okay. How long you been battle rapping? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Since the mid nineties, I think. (laughs) How long have you personified the drug ketamine? (laughs) Exactly. That is it. (laughs) That is true. You do that drug sometimes, don't you? I could tell by the vein that protrudes out of your forehead when you laugh. (laughs) I do do drugs. Huh? What, so I you do what drugs you said. a lot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you look like it yeah. for sure. I agree with Dave Gunther big <laughs> time on this. You seem like you have special hiding spots in every part of your body for drugs. Lots. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. What's your drug of choice? By the hat, I'm guessing everything. <laughs> Accurate. Yeah, I'll, uh, I like to smoke a lot of weed. Yeah. yeah. That, no. Oh. That's not that's, a real... That's I, we not don't, a we drug. don't consider right. that a drug. Here it's where, still where, where we're from, almost a real drug. Where we're from, that's more legal than uh, uh, cigarettes. Yeah. Where, where, do you, where do you stash your weed? Your sister's pussy? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. No, nah, I need to yeah. stash it somewhere. I'm not going to find it, man. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh that was an all. Give me so he doesn't that. really fuck his sister. So let's talk about the real JC here. Thank you. So how long have you been doing stand-up? Um, I think I've done it like a handful of times, like less than 10. Less than 10 times yeah. over a long period of time? No, nah, like I think I maybe started like mid this year or mm. something like okay. that. Yeah. You made right, that June-ish, a lot June, longer of an answer than it had to be. <laughs> uh, and what do you do for work? Um, I work Sound for like cloud a... rapper. On weekends. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I work for like a company that sells swords. Swords? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's that... pretty cool. Like I, um, I can get like my friends to hook up, but a little while ago there was a little thing went down on Burke Street. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. What happened on Bird Street? <laughs> this guy who I thought was real cool, really like, he really took advantage of me, guys. Really. That's my bad. What happened? Hey. Again, I have no idea what the fuck's going uh, on. Congratulations I, um, to you guys. This guy stabbed a bunch of guys in the street. With the sword that you sold him? No, 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 no. He, he didn't pay. You gave him the sword. Yeah. You wow. gave him a sword <laughs> to borrow? Is this true? Am I still allowed to be joking or is this all oh. the way... I mean, it would be pretty <laughs> dumb to be joking at this point, but what? I guess it really doesn't fucking matter. Who gives, They seem to be enjoying themselves. I really don't care. W- was part of you, like, a little bit proud that finally one of your swords got used for something? It's, it's fulfilling in is a weird really way. Is really what you do for work, or is that part of the setup of this big fucking stupid joke? It's really what I do for work. I had no part in that guy killing people. Oh, okay, Unfo- cool. Yeah. So uh, what do you do for fun? Tell us interesting shit about you. Oh. Uh, um, we, I already have said it. I just kind of I, I fuck around with stand-up comedy or I'll smoke a bit of weed, sometimes both at the same time, like tonight. Uh-huh. Um, so your love life, good. did you really get broken up with? Um, well, recently I did break up with someone, so I guess it was kind of... Why'd you break ish. up with her? Uh, <laughs> or him? <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I went out to dinner one night and she tried to call me 14 times in like an hour. 
Oh, yeah. you, wait, you went to dinner with someone else and she tried to call you 14 times? Yeah, but that's someone, like, was with my family. Oh, you're with your family. Yeah. Uh-huh. You fuck Just, your family? I, I thought we covered that, man. That's, that was the whole thing of this. So you were out to dinner with your family, <laughs> and this was, how long do you think you were at dinner for? Two hours, three hours? Oh, under, under two hours. Under I'd say. two hours, yeah. and you counted 14 times. I didn't have to count. My phone did it for me. Right. Were you yeah. supposed to do something with her that night? Like, loosely? And, uh, actually, this would... Yeah. Shut up. Over here. Um, <laughs> over here. Do not pay any attention yeah. to them whatsoever. It was, um... It was like, if I had time, I'll let you know. Maybe we'll get a drink after dinner. Uh-huh. And, uh, she hadn't heard from me yet, because I was still at dinner. How long were you with this girl? Uh, I don't know. A couple of weeks. Four or five weeks. Oh, okay. Well, that's not really a breakup, do you think, is it? No. <laughs> right. And she let you keep her nose ring? <laughs> She gave that to you when you guys were hanging out on... It's kind of sweet, yeah. Um, Fitzroy or whatever. <laughs> no no joke. She's from the fucking north side, yeah. What? What'd you just say? No joke. She's from the north side. Like oh, there friend. you go. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not surprised. How often do you lose yourself in the music the moment you <laughs> own it? You better never let it go. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever my palms get sweaty, you know. What ethnicity are you? Uh, I'm half Greek, so very sweaty. Yeah, yeah. Half Greek. And the other half is feta cheese. <laughs> yeah. I love it, man. Very interesting stuff, JC. What's the most? Uh, what's the most? Uh, what's the biggest mistake you think you've made in your life? <laughs> you could just say. Anything. I'm pretty close to it right now. I think. Probably wearing your beanie that far back. Yeah, I think. Yeah, why? Yeah. yeah, man. What's that <laughs> look? How do you have a receding hairline and a receding beanie at the same time? <laughs> it's true. Uh, it's true. Uh, that is the uh, that is the hippest yarmulke I've ever seen uh, <laughs> someone wear. Well, uh, you did it, JC. You got pulled out of the bucket. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have a nice drive back to Brunswick. Thank you, sirs. There you go, JC, everybody. He's, at, he's on social media at Gnome Saying, all one word. It's actually the name of uh, me and my friend's Guitar Hero band from years ago. Gnome Saying. That was the name of our band. And oh, really? The mascot Guitars? was a, like a lawn gnome. Yeah, Guitar Hero. Oh. We used to have a band. I used to play in a band on Guitar right. Hero. We would save it and we would beat the game. Anyway. The Beatles Guitar Hero is the best. Find out a little bit more about me every episode here. Just little tidbits. Like I was in a real band on Guitar Hero. <laughs> uh, I pulled another name out. Something in my gut tells me this is going to be interesting. Put your hands together for John King. Let's see what happens here. John King. Like like I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> like a rock. Here he is, everybody. The great and powerful, perhaps, John King. G'day, Melbourne. Hey, how good's Melbourne, eh? Uh, it's not bad. It's kind of turned me into a bit of a hipster, though. Um, living, living in the inner north in Collingwood. Uh, now when I get my prostate checked, uh, it comes out soil almond. <laughs> At least it's some type of nut juice, eh? <laughs> um, I'm a bit of a tall cunt. Um... <laughs> it's true. Um, I kind of forget... Until uh, until the rubber Seven Eleven, and they've got those little colour charts on the side of the door. And I'm like, oh fuck, I'm up to red. <laughs> I think that's our guys in uh, Broad Meadows. John King, absolutely welcome, welcome. Like a rock. <laughs> so, uh, John, let's talk about it. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, very first time. Very first wow. time. Very good. Absolutely. I love that in this country, you can call yourself a tall cunt. <laughs> and you are. You are a tall cunt. 
It's weirder when an American guy says it, right? Look at you, you fucking cunt. It's weird, right? We don't get to do that in America. People would be like, oh, you're canceled or something like that. It's almost gay when you say it. Look at you, you fucking tall cunt. (laughs) So much fun. Have you guys tried this yet? Try it. Go ahead. Give it a shot. (laughs) Man, you're you're, you're a tall cunt, man. (laughs) It's fun. It's nice to see Jesus Trejo out here. Oh, Uh, wow. There you go. Wow, look what it is. It's fine. It's for the podcast listeners. So stupid. So dumb. Absolutely retarded. Uh, so, uh, how long did, was your drive from Footscray here today? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Man, that's called karma, bro. I love it. Uh, so, you have interesting ears. Has anyone told you this before? Can you, can you yep. turn your head a little bit more this way? This way. You are right. You are right. Yep. That ear, am I crazy? Is that ear sort of like out more? You sort of have like this weird sloth thing going on about you. You fucking tall cunt. <laughs> Sloths don't have ears, do they? Uh huh. Uh, Even uh, from the no, goo- I wasn't talking about the animal. I was talking about the character from the hit American movie Goonies. <laughs> you tall cunt. <laughs> Works every fucking time. I think I'm getting. I'm thinking I'm building momentum with it. <laughs> I think we're starting to get these Australian crowds now. <laughs> Hell yeah! Absolutely, you fucking stupid ass magpie bitch. <laughs> no, you guys like this, huh? Look at you, you fucking gay-ass drop bear. Look at you. (laughs) Oh, no. Look at you, you fucking stupid-ass chopper reed. (laughs) Just Australian references, pal. Heck, yeah, you fucking... All right. So, uh, John, what do you do for work? uh, Graphic designer. Graphic design, hell yeah. Uh, You have a girlfriend? No. You have a short cunt? Yeah. uh... (laughs) Tight cunt, loose cunt, yeah. blue cunt, cold cunt, <laughs> hot cunt. We have some cold cunts. <laughs> we, have some, we have some cold cunts in the green room if you're hungry. <laughs> if you need a sandwich. <laughs> you have a girlfriend? Uh, wow, uh, okie dokie. Because uh, you could have d- a picnic on your t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> or over shirt. Anyway, you cunt. <laughs> Wow, it really works. We just figured out the secret to killing in Australia, everybody. Yeah. What did I write down it. all that? What did I do all this stupid research for when I could just yeah. call people fucking cunts? Yeah. God, I can't wait till tomorrow's show. <laughs> you fucking stupid. All right. No, uh, no, no girlfriend. Hell yeah. So, John, what do you like to do for fun when you're not designing graphics and whatnot? Um... Oh, man. Just normal stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is very normal suspicious. Stuff. Um, I didn't really like your uh, answer to the do you have a girlfriend, and yeah. I didn't like the answer to that one, so it makes okay. me think that your hobbies are slicing up girlfriends. <laughs> what do I do for fun? Oh, just uh, normal stuff. Yeah. One of his weird ears just starts wiggling. <laughs> That's, what happens. That's what happens when he lies, because he's a fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got me. What do you come on? What do you do? You must have some fun hobbies or something like that, right? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I just, I just do like uh, lettering, like sign writing. Lettering? Yeah. What's lettering? Like writing nice letters. Running. Stuff, like out. writing you, you, letters. He, ru- he nice writes like nice sign letters, writing. Man. Writing letters. Yeah, yeah, nice letters. Oh, that's oh, like nice. Typography or whatever. Yeah, oh. like typography. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's cool. Interesting. You a graffiti artist? Uh, no Allegedly. Comment. No comment. Okay. Oh, so that's a big thing here in Melbourne that uh, I was explaining to the guys earlier when we landed from the plane um, and we're driving into town and there's fucking uh, there's shit all over their walls everywhere out here because they're a bunch of fucking cunts. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Wait. Is, is that what you meant by lettering? Is the graffiti? No. Oh, okay. No, like, but they're not allowed to say if they are graffiti. No, he's talking about typography. You know, like making like cursive. Oh, and, I like, thought you similar. like wrote nice letters like, "Dear Cecilia, <laughs> <laughs> it has been a long time since the war. <laughs> <laughs> I write to you, a very confused man." 
Yours truly, Cunty Cuntsworth. What's your uh, favorite font? My favorite. Wingdings? Font. You seem like oh, a wingdings my favorite kind font? of guy. Oh, my favorite font is white. <laughs> <laughs> oh, papyrus. Oh, oh, oh interesting. Yeah. Very... I'm an impact guy. Oh, <laughs> nice. You uh, you gave a uh, you gave a non-committal answer to my question on if you have a girlfriend. Yes. Yeah. Can you explain that? Uh, it's it's just like a little bit complicated. In what way? In uh, it's a little bit open. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's oh, new yeah. age, right? Yeah. It's 20, 2019. 2019. <laughs> absolutely open for business. For yep. Sure. Definitely open for business. Uh huh. So how open? How long have you two been together? Uh, since the start of the year. So about the start of the year? Yeah. Uh-huh. And how open is it? Like, how many different women have you uh, been with this year? Uh, n- ballpark. Just a ballpark. All right, here. Rephrase the question. How many women have you buried this year? <laughs> uh, buried a few, away. How many? Yeah. Uh, how, how much so, paint did you spray this year? <laughs> how many women have you been with this year? <laughs> Uh, ballpark. What? Ballpark. 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 Yes. Ballpark. Not a bull back. A, b- yeah. a ballpark. Yes. Uh, just, just a few. Just a few. a few. That's not a ballpark. It's a pretty it's big three, ballpark. Three, four. Yeah, I'd say three, four. Okay. So, yeah. well, let me ask you this: What do you and the girlfriend do? Like, what makes her sort of like a girlfriend in an open relationship? Do you guys just have sex, or do you guys do like interesting things like cuddle or live together, or <laughs> you guys watch movies together? I don't really, I don't really get it. Yeah, I, I guess it's like the the intimate parts. It's actually it's all the good parts of a relationship without the bad bits. Right. So you're friends yeah. with benefits. Dear Uh, Cecilia, I do not understand why you will not respond to my letters. I have been writing you for three years straight now. Please respond. P.S. Still questioning my sexuality. Let me ask you this, John. Do you wish it was, uh, do you wish it was more? Uh, no. No, you like it how it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's all the good bits. Fuck yeah. (laughs) What? What was that? Oh, okay. Yeah, what, what's her ethnicity? Um, Aussie. Aussie? What are yeah. you? <laughs> um, Aussie and Filipino. Aussie and Filipino. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Do you speak Tagalog? Uh, no. Wow. <laughs> you fucking cunt. <laughs> well, John, we had, uh, we had fun with you. Congratulations. Your first time ever on stage. How do you feel? I uh, feel good. It's my birthday tomorrow. Wow, so happy feeling, birthday, feeling pal. good. Absolutely. Whew. Who says you can't have your cunt and eat it too? No, no one. No one says that. There you go. Fit for a king. John King, everybody. We, uh... We're running out of time here, but we haven't had a girl on stage. Should we go through the bucket until we get a girl? I think you mean a cunt. Hey. Let's see what happens here. Sorry to Luke. Oh, there we go. It only took two tries. The bucket of destiny comes through here. I present to you your uh, final comedian of the evening, um, and you... And your first lovely lady of the night, put your hands together for Ellen Mahoney. Ellen Mahoney. Hey, one more time for Ellen Mahoney, everyone. So when I was 22, I married a man that was 12 years older than me. And at the time, I put it down to, like, that he was into me because I was just really mature for a 22-year-old. But it turns out, after spending thousands of dollars on a therapist, that I just have daddy issues. So needless to say, that relationship, it didn't work out. Um, I'm single. I'm on all the dating apps. I was on a date the other day, and he told me I looked like a celebrity. And that celebrity was Clint Eastwood. (laughs) And the really sad thing about this story 
is that I still fuck that guy. <laughs> Not Clint Eastwood. <laughs> the dude that was into him. And um, look, he was really surprised when I didn't have a dick. And um, that was the day that I learnt Grindr's not one of the apps that I should be on. <laughs> that's, that's me, thank you. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Very, very, very impressive. Uh, most of the time, um, and this is nothing against female comedians, but most of the time when we desperately go to the bucket towards the end of the show to find a woman, it does not go that well. Good. Very impressive. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, since May. Since May? Yes. <laughs> the month of May. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's, in, that's very incredible. Is that a true story? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure he didn't say Cunt Eastwood? No, no, no. He said Clint Eastwood. He said when I smile, um, I look like Clint Eastwood. Heck yeah. Uh, you, have, you have like Asian eyes for a white yeah. girl. Yeah, yeah. Real <laughs> Asian. Oh, nice. Are you Asian? <laughs> no, not at all. And, all right. And, right. Let's then, check in with And Dave. then she hooked up with him and she showed him <laughs> her Clint Eastwood. <laughs> hey, look at that. Heck Yeah. And then when he went down on her, she said, get off my lawn. <laughs> right? Are we pretty close about this? Uh, no, I didn't let him go down on me. No? You didn't want him to see you're good, you're bad, and you're ugly? No. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, so you've been doing stand-up since May. How do you make money, Ellen? Um, I work as a bartender. A bartender? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Heck yeah. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, years, like 10 years. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. Heck yeah. What's the, uh, what's the, the craziest thing you've ever seen in your time as a bartender? Anything crazy ever happen at your bar? I'm pretty sure I saw a prostitute take someone home the other day. Uh huh. She claimed she got stood up on a Tinder date, um, but she was very loud about it and then um, immediately sat down with this really old rich guy and started ordering like really expensive drinks and, mm -hmm. and then they left together. Yeah, that oh. makes sense. That's what hookers do. <laughs> that is what they fucking do. Yeah. <laughs> What do you like to do for fun when you're not working or uh, doing stand-up? Um, I have a dog. Oh, you do? <laughs> what kind of dog do you have? She's a Border Collie. A Border Collie. Very yes. good, Mike. <laughs> Yippity-dippity-deep. <laughs> How, uh, what's your dog's name? Ellie. Now, I, I didn't name her. <laughs> who named her? Um, I, I had a friend who owned her and he named her, but he needed to rehome her. He so, needed a Rhea Homer. He, yeah. had a, he had a drug problem. No. no. There was sheep next door, and, and he was worried she would kill one of the sheep. Oh, yeah. So, that's, um. Because he was fucking them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Was it hard when you started doing this alone since you're used to having Kermit with you all the time? Jailbird. <laughs> uh, why would you do that? <laughs> oh, my God. Joel, wow, this crowd wants blood here tonight, huh? Oh, I'm just being a cunt. I'm sorry. Into? Oh, Joe Bird. Uh, yes, I'm calling you Miss Piggy. You're a oh, jerk. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. You're a fucking jerk. Oh, yeah, I think you mean a cunt. He's just kidding around. He's kidding around. <laughs> she's laughing. You have a good sense. No, she's like, I... Thought about if I should say that or not, and I just said, oh, evil overtook me. I'm Absolutely. sorry. Absolutely. I mean, you can get away with it. You guys have the same barber, clearly. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no way. Mine looks way better than that. I don't I mean, know. <laughs> I don't Who's know. Who's your barber, Jim Henson? <laughs> That's better than Clint Eastwood. You fucked the guy with the Clint Eastwood. You should take Miss yeah. Piggy over that, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, Miss, sure. Miss Piggy's sort of hot. Yeah. If I, I would have taken you on a date and told you you look like a celebrity, I would say you look like Renelle Zellweger with Zell Down Syndrome. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because I'm a romantic. 
Hell yeah! USA! 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 That's for you, fuckos. All day, every day. For, for the audio listeners, he's wearing Trump socks. Oh, wow. It was just for the audience, but okay. Now I guess hundreds of thousands of people know that I'm a Trump supporter. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Can, can't shadow ban me twice. But we don't know. <laughs> so uh, tell us uh, something else about you, Ellen. You hook up with a lot of guys. You seem like you're a sexually active. You're an Australian girl. Um, yeah. yeah. The short answer is yes. Uh, what's one of the wildest things you've ever done uh, sexually? Um, I. You've been with multiple men at once, correct? Well, no, my boyfriend broke up with me, and then the next day I slid into the DM of a celebrity and I had sex with him all weekend. Wow. wow. <laughs> okay, well, here's the billion dollar question Who's that celebrity? Rocky! I mean, uh, okay, I think... <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah. The comedian? Yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's just move let's along. Let's move we're on. Not going uh, to, uh, we didn't realize you were going to attack our own kind. Uh, yeah. My yeah, goodness. Yikes. Uh, wow. I guess it's true what they say about black guys. They like thick white girls. <laughs> <laughs> Heck, yeah. Yeah. My goodness. Uh, wow. You know this is a podcast, right? Yeah. Um, well, that's fun. He yeah. was in town doing shows? Yeah, he was here for um, Comedy Festival. Fuck yeah. I like yeah. how she said all weekend. <laughs> yeah. Well, we hooked up on Saturday and Sunday. So. It's Saturday night. It fucking counts. <laughs> With Clint Eastwood <laughs> and Miss Piggy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Did he give you the Miss Piggy treatment? Did he yeah. put his hand inside yeah. of you like that? No. Hello! Oh, Miss hey, Piggy! What are you doing? Oh, stop! Yeah. What did yeah, you Yeah, but DM I him? sounded happier. Oh, God. Hey, damn. Yeah. Look at you. Hey! How <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, uh. How long have you been able to do a Miss Piggy yeah. impression? <laughs> How would I not know about this? You know, when the devil gets inside of you, you're capable of everything. <laughs> wow, That's that it. is very impressive. I was not expecting that answer. I was expecting you to name some yeah, Australian like celebrity like Ar- Arch Barker or something <laughs> yeah. like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't think you were going to name an American comedian that we see all the time. Yeah, he's a good, he's a good buddy of ours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really awkward. Exactly. Maybe we should. Uh, maybe we could put a little beep over that. On uh, the, uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, you like should that. put a beep over because you already said the SNL stuff. So uh, yeah. Well, I mean, well, figure we, it out. People may think that. Uh, all right. For yeah, we'll yeah, maybe Jeff you can Richards. put a beep over it. <laughs> what? Put a beep over it. Yeah. We'll, Probably we'll the right idea. Heck yeah. Put a beep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. Uh, I can't deal with it. I can, I cannot deal with it. <laughs> stop playing the SNL music. Jeremiah, stop playing the sax so well. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. So all weekend long, huh? It started on a Saturday and then Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> How about other than that? Anything else? Uh, anything else? Any other fun uh, sex stories? You seem like the kind of girl that's, uh, that's put on a, uh, like a latex mask once or twice. You know what I mean? The old... Red ball in your mouth. What would that sound like? Her with a uh, ball gag in her mouth. Oh, uh, one time Kermy gave me the <laughs> spermy. <Hey-ya. laughs> oh, what is that shitty. noise you keep doing? Karate uh, chops. Oh. <laughs> Why is she doing karate? She gets mad at Kermit. She karate chops him. Oh, Why? is that what she does? Hey-ya. Oh, stop it! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, it's, so it's still funny. more intelligible than most of the comics we've <laughs> yes, had tonight. Exactly. Absolutely. Are you a squirter? Okay. No, no, no. no. You don't have to answer that. 
Let's do it all together. One, two, three. Trash can. <laughs> that was beautiful. Trash can. Oh, why? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. No. <laughs> this Miss Piggy thing might be my favorite thing of all time. Stop it. Ellen, I'm going to tell you something, man. When you've, uh, you've, uh, you've gotten a lot of heat up here tonight, but I will tell you, for starting in May, absolutely amazing set, uh, especially for being a, an Australian. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, you represented the ladies very well tonight, so congratulations and thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Ellen Mahoney. She's on social media at Ellen Mahoney <laughs> underscore. I think we should do it one more, huh? No. But this is it. We could have gotten out of here right then on this fun Miss Piggy thing, and we all would have been happy because that's a full episode. Are you sure we should do one more? It doesn't always end well. It could just be another fucking chubby Australian guy with a thick accent doing his first time, but fucking let's do it. You're Kermit D. Frog. <laughs> Very All right. nicely done. I'm looking deep in here in this fucking bucket. All right, let's see what happens here. Your final comedian of the night goes by the name of Mark Borg. Mark Borg. <laughs> here comes Mark Borg, everybody. Holy shit. One more time for your final comedian of the night, Mark Borg. How you doing? I'm Mark, and I'm so tuned out of society that I don't even know who our prime minister is. I don't think it really matters who or which politician is lying to us. I mean, I think we're their boss, and they're lying to us. As their boss, I think... We could come up with a new rule for politicians. <laughs> Each time they lie to us, they should lose a finger. <laughs> that means they get seven chances to clean up their act. <laughs> well, I gave you what you want, someone who bombed. <laughs> Meow. That's it? That's all you got? Get off this stage. Put the mic back in the mic stand. You did nothing. You did nothing. Yo. Get out of here. There Yo. you go. That, that, that guy is so skinny. That guy's so skinny, he looks like he's dying of Adelaide. Yeah, I guess so. Got beat by Miss P. You guys want to go back one more? You guys want to go back seven more times? <laughs> Fresh popcorn available for five dollars right now. <laughs> Pull the name out of the bucket. Make some noise for Ian Howlett. Ian Howlett. Oh, here he is, right here. Coming right from the railway. You know, you can see. Here he is, one more time. Ian Howlett. Thanks. Uh, I'm a parent of two kids, and most parents think their kids are special. I'm pretty sure at least one of mine is, because he goes to school with special in the name. (laughs) Shout out to Latrobe Special Developmental School. And judging from some of the artwork he brings home, it really is LSD school. Uh, He's autistic, by the way, so it's not the kind you can tell from a photograph. Um, (laughs) 
Yeah, in fact, the school actually used a photo of him in one of their publicity ads for a fundraiser in the newspaper. It was as if to say, our students don't all look like what you're picturing. <laughs> wow, Ian Hallett. That's the way to do it right there. That is how you do it. That is how you do it. You talked about your life, your situation, stuff that only you can talk about, self-deprecating humor, the complete opposite of the guy before you talking bullshit (laughs) about politics that don't affect him in any way. You see the difference there? How long have you been doing stand-up? I think today's like five years, but I've only done like 20 gigs. You know what? You should ask your autistic son how long you've been doing (laughs) stand-up. I bet he knows the exact day you started. Approximately three months, six days, 42 hours, and 37 seconds. (laughs) (laughs) Hell yeah. Wow. So uh, how old is that autistic cunt? (laughs) Hey. I am 867 days, 42 seconds, 1.675 gigawatts old, Tony. Uh, He's seven. He's seven. That's awesome. How old's your other kid? How old's the other kid? Uh, Three. Seven and three. Heck yeah. But the, uh, how old until you, what age are they when you find out they're autistic? Uh, Just when they're toddlers, like. You start to... They can read before they're really speaking. That's sort of a sign. Oh, wow. Obsessed with, like, spinning things or cars or whatever. (laughs) Cars? Was the second thing you said cars? Yeah, cars. Like uh, Hot Wheels? Yeah, like car, like any, <laughs> any kind of car. Any car what yeah. was the first thing? Spinny things, you said? Yeah, well, sort of fans, like, like, he loves wheels, and that's where the love of cars Did you say from. autistic or autistic? What are you talking about? <laughs> Autos. That's interesting. I, I don't know Did, what don't the hell a lot of kids like cars, though, and spinny Yeah, things. I mean, yeah. That's, I loved spinny things <laughs> and cars as a kid. Yeah. Uh, he had, like, obsessions, like, with lights, which is, wasn't making much eye contact or speaking. Uh, so right. Sounds like me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's where we find out Brian has <laughs> autism. Uh, no way, man. He's not smart enough for that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey. Absolutely. Hey. Do you ever like to uh, oh. talk through a fan and act like you're a Darth Vader? Oh, my God. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, Ian, that is so interesting. Um, you're still with the baby mama, right? Uh, we're still living together, but we're separated in oh. terms of relationship. Oh. What about, what you, was that word before relationship? Uh, we were t- together, but and now we're not together romantically, but I st- still live with her. And the kids. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> How long have uh, you guys not been together romantically? Is that a newer development? Uh, two and a bit years, but I moved out for a while, moved back in because I couldn't afford They rent. broke up 467 yeah. days, all right, 22 all right, minutes, all right. 47 seconds ago. Sure, Dave. Uh, do, do you have a, uh, a sister? <laughs> I got two. Well, you got two options, man. <laughs> so, Dave, uh, when it ended romantically, you moved back in. Um, what do you do for work? Uh, I just started work at a cheese factory. At what? Sears factory? A cheese factory. Cheese factory. Yeah. What the hell? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams. Never- Dreams really do come true. <laughs> there are 800 different types of cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> Heck All yeah. over the world, from different regions. Wow. They have different flavors, different sizes, different all right, shapes. All right, all right. Do do uh, what do you do at the cheese factory? Other than <laughs> you look like you cut it quite yeah. often. I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, red band. Can, can, I just, can I just say, this looks like the saddest day of this man's life. No, he's having yeah. a blast. No, you were very funny. That was, yeah, that you was did great. great. And you have a cool shirt. Yeah, you're you killing it. You have my car is all. We cannot, we cannot stress enough how great that set was. Oh, that was incredible. Thanks. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, it's my outlet. Um, yeah, no. And you've been up twice tonight. You won the golden ticket earlier, and now yeah, here you yeah. are just fucking. 
Here you are, <laughs> two great sets in a night. That's the first time that's happened on Kill Tony. I lost weight, but it was vertical, so I tried. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, so in the two years that you haven't been romantically involved with your wife, have you been romantically involved with other people? No. Uh, Not at all? Have you, kissed a, have you kissed a girl other than... Um, no, I haven't kissed a girl. Well, you know what? Why don't we end the episode with something fun, huh? Can I get... Uh, you think I can get a woman up here to give this guy... How, when's the last time you kissed someone other than your wife? How long uh, do you think it's been? Eight years? 47... Years? <laughs> <laughs> ten years, yeah. Ten years? North of that, yeah. North of that? It's been ten years since this guy kissed someone other than his wife. Is there a woman out in the audience that would be willing to end this episode with a fucking bang? Can I get a real Kill Tony fan up here? Give this guy a big fucking kiss on the lips. I know there's got to be a bad bitch Just out there. Just walk up here. Walk up here. That fucking gets it. That's willing to... Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Right fucking there, buddy. And that is Kill Tony Melbourne. There he goes. Ian Howlett, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable performance. Is there anything else you'd like to say or thank or do? Uh, this has been a dream come true. <laughs> both, both things, yeah. You're goddamn right. Look at the smile on his face now. Ian Howlett, everybody. Absolutely, fucking lutely pal. He's on social media, M period, A-V underscore, I-A-N, Ian Howlett. Wow. What a fucking banger that was. Shout out to that bad motherfucker right there. Yeah. Hell yeah. The crowd goes wild for you. That's just being a team player right there. That's a Kill Tony MVP. We have something special for you after the show. If you stick around, we're going to be doing a meet and greet. Uh, we have posters available, Ryan J.E. Bell prints, a few uh, Kill Tony pins, a couple Tony Hinchcliffe pins. I have ten fingers. Uh, there you go. There's uh, some, what, what do you got, Jeremiah? You have some fun stuff going on out there, right? Yeah, I got some Jeremiah Wonder shirts, and uh, the band has a calendar out there that we brought. Yep, yep, and, uh, absolutely. And Jeremiah is headlining Huntington Beach, St. Louis, Kansas City, Chicago, Zanies, and Rosemont, and uh, San Diego. Uh, that's all coming up. Go to JeremiahWalkins.com. Jeremiah also has, I believe, a few big gay calendars, right? Yeah, a lot of a lot of big gay calendars. Gay a lot calendar of big gay ever, calendars left. Uh, yeah. How about one more time for the great Jeremiah Watkins, huh? Hey, hey, Melvin, make some noise for Instagram. Sydney tomorrow night's already sold out. We got D.C. and New York City in November. Storcade, the wrestling event at the Comedy Store. And Kill Tony, Columbus, Pittsburgh, Cleveland coming up in December. Don't forget about it. And uh, how about another hand for the great, the one and only, still the drummer of Kill Tony, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. <laughs> He's officially sponsored by Ludwig Artists. If you haven't gone to the official artist site, if you haven't gone to uh, Ludwig.com and gone on to and looked at their artist list and looked at all the elite drummers and scrolled down and see Joel right in the middle of this shit and all these other, all these other drummers, Pantera, ACDC, Korn. John Bonham, and then, and then Ringo it, and, Starr. Yeah, and then it says the Kill Tony Band, Joel Jimenez. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Dildo Such guy. an honor, and you're absolutely hilarious. This is his first time in Australia. He's at Mostly Sorry on social media. Make sure you follow him. Show him some love. There he is. Well, yeah, I love you guys. Thanks so much. And uh, another guy who's uh, first time it is in Melbourne, the one and only podfather, Brian Redband, everybody. How about that, huh? Thanks a lot, guys. We love you guys. Thank you so much. We finally made it here, and we felt very welcome. We love you guys. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>